Welcome to this introductory session designed to help you set up your TI Navigator system. You will need your TI Inspire Premium Teacher software, the access point and cable, a couple of Wi-Fi adapters, and at least one or two calculators to test your setup. Step 1. Launch your TI Inspire Premium Teacher software. If you haven't already done so, enable the Navigator system via the window menu. A couple of new tabs and icons will appear. You'll learn more about these in other tutorials. Connect the access point to your computer using the cable provided. Wait a few moments for your computer to identify the access point. Then, select Network Manager from the Tools menu. If this is the first time your access point has been connected, once it has been identified, the Network Setup Wizard will launch. The Setup Wizard assumes you have multiple calculators all on the latest operating system. So, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll cancel the wizard and set up Navigator manually. Select the name for your network, something that's easy to identify, say your school name. You can choose an operating band and channel. If your Wi-Fi adapters have a V2 printed on them, you can use either the 2.4 or 5 GHz band. If you experience repeated calculator dropouts, you can return here to change the settings. And check with your school's IT technician to see what bands and channels might be used by your school network. We're now ready to set up the Wi-Fi adapters. Each adapter has a unique serial number on the top. We're going to enter these in manually. It takes a few minutes, but remember, this process is a one time only. With the equipment all set up, we're ready to create a class. Click on the Class tab, select the Class menu, and Add Classes. For an entire class, it's much quicker to upload a spreadsheet. We'll look at this option in a different tutorial. So for now, select Manually. I'll call my class Practice. It's possible to continue adding more classes, but again, for the purposes of this tutorial, one class will be sufficient. So I select Add, and then Next. Now we can populate the class with students. Each student must have a first and last name, and also a username. You can leave the passwords for students to select, the very first time they log in, they'll be prompted to add in a password. And don't worry, it's really easy to reset student passwords. The display name and student ID can also be left blank for now. And now, select Finish on your last student and your Navigator system and class are all set to go. And we're ready to log in. To start a class, always check that your access point has already been connected. Then, select Begin Class. Place a Wi-Fi adapter on top of a calculator. A flashing Wi-Fi logo will appear next to the calculator's battery indicator. As this is the first time the calculator has accessed the network, it needs to be introduced. Navigate to the calculator's home screen, select Option 5 for Settings, followed by Option 6 for Network. From the Network dialog box, select the name of your access point. Tab down to Connect, 
then press Enter. The flashing Wi-Fi logo on the calculator will change to a flashing Navigator logo. Now we're all set to log in. From the Home screen, select Option 5, Settings, and this time Option 5, Log In. Enter the username, create a password, then tab down to Log In. The student calculator receives a message, Log In Successful. On the teacher's computer, under the Class tab, we can see that a student's calculator is connected and logged in. I will log another calculator in. Once students are familiar with this process, the entire class is typically logged in within a minute or so. As students log in, we can return to the More Familiar Documents tab. One of the powerful features of the TI Navigator system is the ability to see every student's calculator screen. I'll select the camera tool. I'm only going to grab the students that are logged in. I have two students logged in. Images here are regularly refreshed. Now I'll make one of them the presenter. You'll notice that the screen captures and presenter view are in a different window. So go ahead and start playing. When you're done, stop the presenter, close off the screen capture window and end the class. So, well done. You've set up Navigator, created a class, logged in, captured student screens. You can now finish setting up the Wi-Fi adapters. Then, when you're ready, check out some of our other Navigator videos to see how to upload an entire class using a spreadsheet or run some quick polls, transfer documents or even conduct an auto-correcting quiz and loads more. Thanks for watching.